Welcome everyone. What you don't see coming is today's timeless pick a card. We have three options. Option one on the left with canary spirit. Option two in the middle, rhino spirit. And option three on the right hand side, pig spirit. Take a deep breath with me. And exhale. Timestamps will be in the description box. If you need more time to choose, you can pause the video now. See you there. Welcome everyone who chose this canary spirit. This is going to be a reading about what you don't see coming. Okay. So, um, the number 12 could be relevant to you, the number 3. There's something here about making progress. Um, I'm also seeing 3rd house, 12th house. So, I'm seeing Gemini, Pisces energy could be somewhere in your chart. So, I'm in rising Venus, Mars, Mercury. Um, the month of March could be significant, March 12th or December 3rd as well. So December coming up, so Sagittarius and Capricorn energy, March coming up, Pisces again, and Aries. Someone here could have a nice singing voice or a nice speaking voice. Someone here could play some kind of instrument. but it doesn't have to be. It says sing your own song, okay? So there's something here that you don't see coming about expressing your truth, being who you want to be, being who you are, um, being accepted for who you are or not. But there's a sense that the only way to make progress or the way you're going to make progress is by being yourself, okay? For some of you, you're going to launch a song or someone's going to hear your voice and someone's going to enjoy your voice. Let's see what happens with this one. The color yellow and blue. I'm seeing yellow and blue. So I'm seeing solar plexus chakra and throat chakra. So there's something here about being confident to speak your mind, being confident to be yourself. So our, our chakras are our energy centers. So it could be that what you don't see coming is a newfound sense of confidence and self-worth that would lead you to have the courage to speak your mind, sing your own song, be yourself, feeling strong enough to do that, feeling strong enough, confident enough to say what's on your mind. But what you don't see coming is making progress when it comes to communication, okay? Because third house is communication. Something with the twelfth house that you've been keeping hidden in terms of communication will be expressed. Or someone will express some kind of hidden communication toward you because now they've gained the confidence and the courage to do so. Okay. A lot we're getting from one card alone. And now we have coming apart. Uh, the number 46, the number 10, and the number 1 could be relevant now. As I always say here on the channel, whenever some kind of more of a possibly negative connotation could come with a card, this, I don't read tragedies or really, really bad things here on the channel. So if this is something that is either going to be really good for you and you're going to be happy about, or is already happening for you. So... I feel with this one, first of things that I'm seeing is that you're coming apart from your from the mask that you've been wearing, okay? You're separating yourself from a, a certain mask that you've been wearing, either to please others or to avoid judgment or avoid criticism or avoid punishment or avoid... Um, it could be that. It could be that you're coming apart with from people or separating yourself from people with whom you feel you have to wear the mask, you have to play a role, otherwise you're walking on, or if people you find that you're walking around eggshells around them, or with whom you can't be your genuine self, okay? I feel you're coming apart with both that side of you that you show because you're afraid that you can't be yourself. So you're coming apart from a mask and anyone you are around with whom you feel like you have to wear a mask, if that makes sense. 
or coming um, or separating yourself from people whom you feel stand in the way of you being able to be genuine and authentically you. Um, with the number 46 could be relevant, the number 10, the number 1 means a new beginning. So separation from these things means a new beginning for you. And I feel it's a new beginning where you feel stronger and more confident and you feel like you can speak your mind and um, overall you just feel better about yourself. You put yourself on some sort of a throne here with this energy. Completion, yeah. So what you don't see coming is the completion of a cycle. Closing, and, and I feel this is closing a karmic cycle where you felt somehow repressed, suppressed, oppressed, limited, um, judged, punished, heavy. So it seems like you're closing that cycle. I wouldn't be surprised if you guys are nearing 31, 61 years old. Or I wouldn't be, or if that's not the case, I wouldn't be surprised. And in that case, it means you're coming out of your your Saturn return, which you've entered around two to three years ago, and you're completing that karmic cycle of Saturn working in your life to structure you differently, to bring some lessons, to make things a little bit heavy for you, but to make you think about what you truly want bringing into the future. And there have been limitations and restrictions. For others of you, if you're not coming to toward your 31, 32, 61, 62 years old, then it could be that you have strong Aries, Capricorn, Cancer, or Libra in your chart. Um, some people have all four, you know, um, in very important placements, meaning Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, South Node, North Node, Midheaven. It could be, but it seems like and whoever was dealing with that, while uh, Pluto is still in Capricorn, that is one of the most challenging placements for Pluto Capricorn, in Capricorn. And we're thankfully in November, we're coming out of that energy. So it was there for 16 years. So for, 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 for a lot of you, the last 16 years have been trying to say the least. So I, I feel that's a cycle that's closing for you guys, wherever you are in this in this whole scenario here. Or you could just be having a really tough um, Saturn transit going on for you, okay? But either way, this is completing now. This is closing that cycle, that karmic cycle. And, okay, we have get some exercise. So as your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. So it could be that you're, it took a toll on your body the last you know, whatever you've been through is taking a toll on your body. So if you exercise, keep exercising. Your body will become stronger. Your body is becoming stronger. And you will be begin to become stronger in all ways. If you don't exercise at all, really please consider that. Go for a walk at the very least or start with walking if you're doing nothing at all. Um, or, you know, do, do one-minute sprints if you're walking, if you can. Um, go for a swim. Go for a bicycle ride. Uh, go to the gym, go play some sports, go get together with, you know, um, there's something here about working on your body to become stronger that will also strengthen your energy centers, okay? And it will help you feel stronger emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually, okay? So the real advice here is get some exercise or get more exercise or keep getting exercise. Exercise is very important right now um, because it's going to help you feel stronger and as you feel stronger you have more confidence and have you more confidence you will be more courageous here and because the new beginning you're stepping into is is going to require you to take some sort of leap of faith here and you have to really feel strong to be able to do that <laughs> again express your individuality allow your true self to shine because you're awesome yes exactly it's not me saying it, it's the cards, it's the energy, it's spirit. So please, if you're awesome, okay? Whoever's watching this pile, whoever you are truly to your core, whoever you are authentically and genuinely, that is your best self, okay? So you really, really have to bring that forward right now. Um, the more you do that, the more successful, the more, um, what's the word for it? The more fulfilling 
the, the next cycle of your life will be perfect timing. This is the right time for you to move forward. So what you don't see coming is that it will be the right time to move forward very soon. Now, listen, whenever you're watching this, this is a timeless reading, meaning it's meant for you whenever you find it. So regardless of when it's been uploaded, I would say the perfect time for you to move forward would be right now or within the next month, okay? Maybe you've been waiting for something, but the time is, is nearing, okay? It's, 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 it's much closer than it was, let's say, a month ago. It's like this, I feel this, this cycle that you've been through and it's been heavy, it's been limiting, it's been filled with challenges and obstacles and blocks. You're breaking through all of this and this may have um, lasted anywhere from 3 to 9 to 16 years, okay? But look, you know, all that delayed gratification, all that time you were waiting for, things are going to pick up pace now you're going to be able to move forward. And we have travel for some of you, and it says an upcoming trip pr proves to be life-changing in positive ways. So for some of you, there is a travel opportunity or a trip coming up that will change your life. It's going to be life-changing in a very, very positive way, whatever that means for you, okay? So let's see what we've got here for... the tarot we have the nine of pentacles so what you don't see coming is that for, for those of you needing improvements in your health your health will improve you're going to find the solution for others of you or all of you i see financial independence being able to stand on your own two feet and being independent from anything or anyone you want to be independent from you're going to feel strong enough healthy enough and you're going to have the means to do it you're going to have the finances in order you're going to be very financially independent is what I'm seeing. Ace of Pentacles. You're having a new uh, beginning in the material world, meaning new seeds planted, new roots, um, feeling like your body has been renewed in a way, like it's new in some way. I'm also seeing possibly for some of you a relocation to a new house or a new city or a new country. Okay, yeah, and this move or this new beginning is going to be very prosperous, long-lasting, um, healthy, and stable is what I'm seeing, okay? Knight of Pentacles, some of you like white truffle or truffles in general, but Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy could be in your chart somewhere, doesn't have to be, but what I'm seeing here is slow and steady wins the race, and you're a lot closer to a certain goal than you think you are and you're going to have the money you need to keep going money is never going to be a problem i see you on a very stable prosperous healthy long-lasting um route here in life and but there's something very new here page of cups yeah um new territory um something you've always wanted to do or you love it may involve a friend or someone younger than you or a child i'm seeing cancer pisces scorpio could be somewhere in your chart and we have justice libra energy um i feel the scales will be balanced They'll, there will be fairness and there could be a contract here i'm seeing two people so i'm seeing an age gap here very possibly justice some of you, there is a contract that will offer you financial freedom or independence here. It says Old Man of the Woods is the name of that uh, mushroom, so that could mean something. I see there is a new contract here, a new beginning here that you will be very emotionally tied to or someone you will be very emotionally tied to. And this is going to be the justice for everything you've been through could be a new friend, a new romantic partner. Um, take what resonates. I'm seeing a lot of stability. I'm seeing, yeah, we have step out of your comfort zone. Absolutely. I did see that energy of you needing to step out of your comfort zone here to be able to embrace this new beginning. I see this new beginning being very balanced very prosperous, very healthy, 
and just this feel good energy, just feeling like you are loved and enveloped in the energy of love and prosperity and health in general and just feeling life is balanced and everything is in its place is what I'm seeing here. But I'm not going to lie, I feel the this next month or the next few months are going to be trying in the sense where you're going to be tested whether you are ready to step out of your comfort zone. And I feel you are coming at the tail end of being prepared to step out of your comfort zone because the comfort zone is becoming a little bit uncomfortable and it seems like you're being equipped with all the tools that you need to, to be able to navigate um, this energy right now. And so that is your reading. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, if this resonated with you, let me know how in the comment section. If it did not, choose another pile. Thank you for commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribing. It helps the channel, helps bring you more. And if you want to be notified of future uploads on the channel, hit the bell for notifications. Extra content is on Patreon. We have other picket cards there. We have all the extended readings for the love readings on this channel and the Zodiacs channel. For the Zodiacs channel, you can find the link in the description box. We have channeled messages and we have collective messages on that uh, Patreon. So if you've never been there, you're going to find quite a few readings on there. Um, and on members area, you can click join here on YouTube. You will find a bunch of channeled messages there as well. It was a pleasure to read for everyone today. Have a beautiful day. See you in the next one. Bye. Welcome. What you don't see coming. So you guys chose Rhino, the Rhino spirit. The number 50 could be relevant. The number five changes. Changes are coming. And it says overcome any obstacle. So it seems like you will be able to overcome any obstacle standing in the way of you making these changes. You're going to be able to overcome any obstacle. Maybe you don't understand this right now or you think that's not possible, but this reading is here to tell you that yes, these changes will occur. Yes, you will overcome these obstacles. You're going to be able to press ahead, break through stubborn obstacles, and these are stubborn obstacles. So these are obstacles you've been trying to break through in a, ver in a very long time you will have the ability to do this and you will see the multiple ways in which you can do this around them, through them, shattering them. Nothing's gonna stop you. I just heard nothing's gonna stop you. I heard that 80s song, Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now. And we can build this thing together and stand and stop forever. Yeah, that's... <clears throat> nothing's gonna stop us now. And I Unstoppable by Sia. Yeah, you're going to be unstoppable. We have unexpected visitors. The number 50, 41, sorry, could be significant. The number 5, again, 5-5. Five, five. Hmm. What you don't see coming is someone showing up in your life unexpectedly or visiting you unexpectedly bringing in change or because of change. Okay, maybe this person's going to stop at nothing. Now, we're going to see the tarot cards to see if this is not very... I'm, as I said, I, I don't really predict really negative things here that you should worry about. Otherwise, yeah, no, I'm not the, I'm not going to plant those things in your mind. I, I, ask to, I don't see those things. I don't communicate those things. So there's an unexpected visitor or visitors they're coming in to help you change or help you overcome obstacles or they're going to overcome any obstacles to come and visit you. Okay? Angel number 55 could be relevant to you. 41. 41 is the Ace of Cups number of the Ace of Cups. So new emotional beginnings. Unexpected new emotional beginnings. Someone may be visiting you for a new emotional beginning and they are overcoming any obstacles, or both of you. Um, we have Thunder. I just heard that ACDC song now. Thunder. The number 56 could be relevant as well as the number 11. Thunder. You know how when these very large animals, the bisons, the rhinos, you know when these animals run, they make a sound like thunder. 
I just noticed these have the bazons on them. I wasn't even looking at them. Oh my gosh. I just noticed we have what I was visualizing the bazons and I wasn't even looking at them. Interesting. So uh, Africa or North America could be significant to someone here. Africa or North America. Interesting, because thunder is about dramatic change in your life. And it's it's divine intervention. There, it, you can't stop this. This is, yes, the change occurring in your life will be unstoppable. You've asked for it. It's good for you. But now you can't stop this. You need to be flexible and willing to experience this, experience this change without trying to dictate where or what form opportunities will come to you, how things will... You won't have much influence on this change right now. Things have been set in motion, and they're going to start moving really fast, and life is about to become an adventure. Wonderful opportunities pouring forward for you, arriving, and... The trick is to learn to run with them and be flexible. If things were very slow and very, like, what's the word for it? Predictable? Yeah. It could be that a lot of people are going to come and visit you or someone's going to change things around. Or maybe someone you never thought would come and visit you all of a sudden takes a chance and shows up or something just happens really quickly for you and you have to seize the, the opportunity without thinking much. I just heard you had enough time to think when things were slow and now it's really, are you ready? So I feel you have like about a month to get ready for this. Five months maximum. So get ready to take action, get ready to seize an opportunity, get ready to move, get ready for something here because it's time. Ask for what you want. It's something you've asked for. It's something you wanted that you let the universe know and maybe even other people and now they're, the universe is delivering or people are saying, okay, okay, let's go visit, let's go do this. And it could have something to do with a new home here. Moving is a step in the right direction for you. The change may be that you're moving to a new home as well. And in that new home, you're going to be getting more unexpected visitors for some of you. But for others of you, you're going to get unexpected visitors where you are. There's going to be change and then there's going to be a new home. Either way, it says moving is a step in the right direction for you. And maybe this is something you asked for. And moving in the step, moving is a step in the right direction for you if it's to a new home. So that's just confirmation if you needed to know. For some of you, you want a new home because of your children. For some of you, you want a new home because you want to conceive. Um, it says your connection with children is a part of your life purpose. And maybe you didn't know that. Maybe you're going to find out what your life purpose is and maybe you're going to see it is somehow connected to children. If you don't know what your life purpose is and you would like to find out, I make life purpose reports based on your tropical natal astrological chart. You can find my link, uh, my email in the description box to ask about that service. For some of you, okay, there's an unexpected pregnancy because the visitor could be a child, possibly a girl, okay, because I'm seeing girls here. Possibly a boy for some of you. I would say um, those of you who are expecting or thinking about a child, I'm seeing I'm seeing 75% girl, 25% boy. So it doesn't really matter, I guess. We have the bunny there. So that is just indicative that there could be an unexpected pregnancy visiting you. Um... For those of you who want that, who, who see that, who resonate with that, who can have that right now. Um, or it could just be that you're finding out that your life purpose is somehow connected to children. Either teaching, helping children, fostering children, 
being a parent. For some of you, what you don't see coming is that you are moving into a new home and it's going to be better for you and you are going to have more children or your children are going to be happy in that home. We have affirmations. It seems like what you don't see coming is something you have been affirming, you've been manifesting, you've been doing affirmation work to make this happen. Meanwhile, it could help for you to do affirmations, right? If you are feeling low, to lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire, use positive affirmations. I feel you have been doing this already. And it seems like everything you've been affirming is going to start showing up. For some of you, literally at your doorstep. For others of you, just showing up in your life unexpectedly. And a, very, a lot quicker than you thought. We have the sun, so joy, growth, warmth. For some of you, again, a child. And for some of you, this is a, a masculine child. So now we have 60% girls, 40% masculine, okay? For others of you, it's just the energy of joy and growth and having the Midas touch. Everything you touch turning to gold. The emperor taking a control over your life. And that's going to make you very happy or your divine counterpart showing up, your soulmate, your higher level soulmate, or for some of you, you're becoming a father or the father of meeting the father of your children or the lovers, higher level soulmate, Gemini energy, Aries energy, Leo energy, higher level soulmates, a uh, big life changing decision coming up. Okay. Overcoming obstacles between two lovers. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, could be in your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Discerning, knowing what decision to make. You're going to know what the best decision will be. Four of Wands, bliss and stability in the household. Joy in the household, growth, prosperity. Especially if it's a new household. Okay, surrender to the divine. You're closing a cycle right now with this full moon here. And closing of the cycle is going to um, be asking you to surrender to how things happen. Uh, it, they may not happen in the sequence or in the way that you thought they should or would. But I'm here to say the name Caesar could be significant because this is Caesar's mus mushroom. Lion's mane could be significant. Golden oyster mushroom flying uh, either way um there's a choice here and the choice is in your hands and you can make this choice and you're going to make the right choice okay is what i'm seeing here so that was your reading really i don't really have much more to add to this 11:44 on the clock could be a significant number you can look up and research it was a pleasure to read for everyone today. Let me know how this resonates for you in the comment section. If it did not, choose another pile. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It helps the channel. It helps you bring you more. If you want to be notified of future uploads on the channel, hit the bell for notifications. There are There is extra content on my Patreon. Information for that is in the description box. You will find other pick of cards, the extended for all the love readings on this channel, and my Zodiacs channel, which you can also find listed in the description box. And you will also find um, channeled messages and collective messages there. And in the members area here on YouTube, if you click join, you can find a lot of channeled messages. It was a pleasure to read for everyone today. Have a beautiful day. See you in the next one. Bye. Welcome everyone who chose Pick Spirit. So what you don't see coming is today's Thomas Pick a card. What you don't see coming, the number 47 could be relevant, the number 11. Use your mind wisely. Maybe you don't know that you're going to use your mind wisely, or this is advice to use your mind wisely. But it says, look, I'm looking at what looks like a pig that could fly. So a flying pig, if pig, when pigs can fly, if pigs could fly. So that may be an expression you use, or finally something happens and it's not your normal day-to-day -day thing that would happen or you thought it would never happen it would be impossible and the impossible becomes possible and there's a miracle 
that shows up in your life. So, you may be able to, maybe you have the wisdom and the intelligence to make something happen or do something that you didn't think you would possibly be able to make happen or do, and you, you will, okay? Maybe there's been a lot of overthinking for you and you need to give your mind a rest. You may be trying too hard, and right now less is more. But there's a sense here that something that you never believed was possible or that you would be able to pull off, you will, okay? You have the wisdom, you have the intelligence, and you need to know that you have the wisdom and you have the intelligence. It could be that recently you felt like you've hit rock bottom or at some point, or you're coming out of the cycle. There seems like you're closing a cycle of having hit rock bottom. And these two paths, it looks like, look, down there it seems to be have cracked, but then two pathways were found. And you're taking one of the pathways to a new beginning here. So you're, you're maybe you didn't feel like you could exit rock bottom. Maybe you thought that that was where you're going to stay. But you know what they say about hitting rock bottom? When you hit, hit rock bottom, you crack. And when the cracks, when there's, when anything cracks, it lets the light in. And so the light came in, or the light is coming in to show you something you need to know about what's within you, either needing to heal or either something that is a strength of yours that you can use, so you're getting clarity of how to create paths to exit this, and you're going to find it. You're going to find the path away from where you've been, which has been feeling very lonely, very heavy, very dark. And you're coming out of that, flying out of it, like if pigs could fly. And you know what? Pigs are going to be able to fly, metaphorically. Magic. As, as, as if something magical happens here. But you're creating this, and there's something magic, magical inside of you, and you weren't seeing this, but you're going to see it. The number 33, you could be connected to the Ascended Masters. 3 plus 3 is, is the number 6. 3 plus 3, 6, which is Venusian energy, which is Venus and Taurus energy. And again, um, magic is connected to the infinite intelligence, infinite divine intelligence. So there's something that you're tapping into when it comes to the fundamental fabric of the universe that is connected to this divine intelligence. And you're going to get evidence through synchronicities, through meaningful coincidences, through things just miraculously showing up and happening for you that you never believed were possible, that you've somehow crack the code and learn to harness this energy that is available to all of us. You've used your wisdom, you've used your intelligence, and now magic is about to occur in your life. There's something here you've been practicing. It says practice, practice, practice. So I wouldn't be surprised because we have the word practice three times. Now we have three, three, three. There's something here that you've been repetitively practicing that has led to you being able to turn things around and to turn something impossible into something possible. And it's something you've been doing daily. You've been polishing a certain skill or talent and, and, and hence your, your confidence has been increasing. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if you've been repeating positive affirmations in the present tense daily to make things turn around. For some of you, You've been practicing an instrument and it's been helping you come out of this state here. And you've all of a sudden you've learned something you never thought you would you could learn before. And now you're becoming a master at it. And that's going to take you out of this very dark place. And miracles are going to start to happen because now you've honed in on a skill. And you've mastered a skill or a talent here that has, in a sense, increased your confidence. And you're going to use it. And 
something magical happens in your life and all of a sudden something happens that you never thought could happen before you make the impossible possible and it's all because of something you've been doing you made the decision to practice something here autumn so autumn fall in the fall season everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvests of abundance so if you are of course near the equator where there are no seasons you don't have to disregard this because it's it's going to be autumn somewhere at some stage. So ha, let me explain. So if you are near the equator and there are no seasons where you are, just consider that this could happen for you between um, March 21st and March, April, May, June 21st. Or it could happen between September 21st and December 21st. Okay. Now, if you're in the northern hemisphere, you know when fall autumn is that is when everything will come together and you will reap the wonderful harvests of abundance so whatever you've been working on honing in on the skills you're going to start to see the harvest you're going to start to reap the rewards of that hard work and if you're in the southern hemisphere well you know when autumn is for you too your desire is within reach and there's something here about practicing something and that reaching a desire here with this so have faith everything is working out in your favor so that's one positive affirmation you can say in the present tense everything is always working out in my favor everything is always working out for me okay that's something you can say repetitively and maybe that's something you've been saying and we have walk away and it says leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. So whatever the unhealthy situation represents for you, be that your own mindset, a place, a person, a circumstance, a codependent relationship, a toxic environment, a job, um, whatever that is for you, it seems like you're going to leave the unhealthy situation. Okay? And, and because you make a conscious decision to leave the unhealthy situation, new doors will open as a result. Ace of Cups, a new emotional beginning. And this is based on self-love. So there's a newfound self-love here that is going to open doors for new emotional beginnings to pour in and more love to pour into your life. We have Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. New territory, new beginnings, new information coming through about a new emotional beginning. It could be that someone has been curious about you, asking about you, will maybe establish contact with you, communicate with you, written, phone call. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, now for some of you, you're going to be doing research or you're studying and there's something that you're studying that's going to make you financially wealthy, rich, abundant, prosperous. Okay? Um, or you're going to come across research that's going to help you build an empire, a legacy, make a lot of money, become wealthy, and doing something you love doing. For others of you, there's a new emotional beginning that is going to be in the talking stages that is going to lead to marriage. Knight of Wands. There could be an age gap here. Now we see Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. These could all be in Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, or Mercury. And we have the King of Cups. So we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, um, there's a walking away here from a, an unhealthy situation and a new emotional beginning with someone who has a lot of love for you and shows a lot of passion toward you and vice versa. And for some of you, it's doing something you love that would lead to a lot of money and health and prosperity and stability. Now, for a lot of you, there is a skill or a talent that you have that you're going to turn into something very profitable. I see whatever you desire here is what's within reach. Because everything is working in your favor, not just one thing, not just the other, but it takes leaving unhealthy situations so that you can enjoy these new doors opening as a result. But I feel like you're already walking away from the unhealthy situations. And as a result, everything will work out in your favor. Love, money, health, 
as like magic. You're turning your life around and it's because you've either been practicing and applying a, a, a positive affirmations in the present tense or a certain skill or talent here. Either way, there's a new beginning for you around the month of May and it's an indication of prosperity that lies ahead. So the next cycle you start around the month of May is going to be a cycle that you start that will be very prosperous, stable, long-lasting and healthy but also loving where you feel motivated passionate energized vital filled with life and loving what you're doing loving yourself and someone loving you too and you loving someone so it's everything really guys so that was your reading what a beautiful reading to bring to you guys um i, I feel this reading is filled with hope um, it was a pleasure to read for you. Let me know how this resonates for you in the comment section. If it did not resonate, choose another pile. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Um, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It helps the channel. It helps you bring you more. Extra content is on Patreon. On Patreon, you can find other pick of cards, channeled messages, um, collective messages, and all the extendeds for the love readings on this channel and on my Zodiacs channel. Um, in the, you can find all of that in the description box and in members area here on YouTube, you can click on join. You will find a bunch of channeled messages that are only accessible to those of you who have members area. It was a pleasure to read for everyone today. Have a beautiful day. See you in the next one. Bye.